Welcome, welcome, welcome to Texas Boxing Scene. Um, big news I wanted to get into. Uh, let's get into this Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford news just a little bit. Um, the fight was originally penciled in for November 19th in Las Vegas. That's not going to happen. Um, don't know if we'll get the fight at all this year. If we don't get it this year, I don't know if we're going to get it. Uh, so Terrence Crawford's putting the kibosh on the fight for now. We're not going to have it November 19th. It's just too soon. That's six weeks away, seven weeks away. It's not going to happen at this point. Um, the reason is uh, Crawford wants transparency in the expenses. So the fighters don't have a guaranteed purse in the fight. It's all based off the revenue of the fight, the net revenue, not the gross, off the net. So he wants to see what's being subtracted. Right, what's what money is being subtracted, and apparently, allegedly, that's getting held up. Someone doesn't want to disclose that. We'll get more details as that comes out, but that's what we're looking at right now. Um, you know, Terrence Crawford is a promotional free agent. He no longer has a promoter um, to to look into that for him. Not that I'm saying promoters are, are the best at that, but that's kind of what's holding up the fight. Um, so they're gonna look into December now. And uh, before we get into December, guys, fighters hate. There's a reason why December is so slow in boxing. And, and after Thanksgiving, fighters hate to fight. They, they want to be with their family on Christmas. They don't want to be in camp. They don't want to be cutting weight. They don't want to be, you know, uh, outside of Rocky Balboa in Rocky uh, Four. Fighters don't like to fight on Thanksgiving, or I, I guess, uh, or Christmas, or, you know, in between that time. You know, they want to be at home. They want to be with their families. They, they want to do all that stuff. Uh, no one wants to be cutting weight during Thanksgiving, Christmas, in, in that you know, in that month of time. I gotta tell you guys, I don't think this fight's happening. I I, I don't think it's happening. I was, you know, I, I've been talking about this fight since 2017. And in 2018, it should have become a reality. It's already the end of 2022. Um, Terrence Crawford hasn't had any major setbacks. Um, but since 2018, that's 18, 19, 20, that's, that's five different years. He's fought about six times, right? He fought twice in 2018, twice in 2019, once in 2020, once in 2021. So in five years, he's fought six times. And it's going to be over a year he's been out of the ring again. I don't know what we're going to get with Terrence Crawford. I mean, his career has been so mismanaged. He, he jumped up in 2017. Uh, he beat Ndongo. Won all the bells at 40. Went up to 47 in 2018. Hasn't been in the ring since. It hasn't been in the ring with a, a premier welterweight. Hasn't fought Spence since, right? Like he hasn't fought a, he fought Porter. That's what I'm trying to say. He fought Porter. He hasn't fought Spence. He hasn't fought Thurman. He hasn't fought those names in which we, we would hope, we just, hope he would fight. He didn't have fought Packer. He never fought any of those names. He hasn't fought a top, he hasn't fought a PBC guy. Um, and now, look, He's not young anymore. He's 35 years old. I mean, I, I, I think his best days are behind him. I do think at this point, at 35 years old, I do think Errol Spence would beat him. Although if this fight was four years ago, five years ago, maybe I would think differently, but it's not. Um, I, we've missed out on this fight. And there's really no reason why. And we're going to get into why I, I, I think it, it, it took so long to get made and really what the problem is. I, I just don't think there's enough money in the fight. Right for what both these guys demand, this fight will not do what a Canelo fight does. And Canelo only did five hundred thousand pay per view sales. Look, this news. This I want to see what the expenses are. I want to see all the actual numbers comes as a result in in, in light of a match from cooking the books on those Canelo numbers. They say they're coming up one one over one point oh six million. Yeah, internationally. We always measure pay-per-view sales domestically in the United States, right? So when I say Mayweather 
and Canelo did 2.2, whatever the number was. That's 2.2 million American sales. So Canelo and Caleb Plant did 800,000 uh, pay per view buys in America. Canelo and Bavall did 530 in America. Canelo Triple G3 did 550, 575 in that range in America, but they reported 1.06. So there's a lot of sleight of hand there. And we've seen with Tank Davis fights, two drastically different numbers, pay per view numbers. So they, they want to see what this is all about. You know, Terrence Crawford wants the books to be open. And for some reason, that someone, we don't know who that is yet, doesn't want the books to be open. So I can't say I fault Terrence Crawford. I don't. I can't say that this is a duck. What I do say is that this fight's probably not going to happen this year. And I, I've always been suspicious that it may not. Um, and we may not get this fight at all. Like I said, um, he's fought six times in five years. <clears throat> Uh, Errol Spence really hasn't been much more active. You know, um, if you look at what Errol Spence has done, he fought once in 2022, didn't fight at all in 2021, uh, fought once in 2020, and fought twice in 2019. So you go back to the Sean Porter fight, which was three years ago. He's fought twice. Yes, he had an eye injury. He had a car accident. Yes, got it. Okay, uh, understood. Between September, almost three years ago to the day, to right now, Errol Spence has fought twice in three years. In the three years since the Porter fight, he has fought twice. Danny Garcia and Ugas. Now, he spends all the credit in the world for fighting the best names. You go through his resume, his names are top notch. Ugas Garcia, Porter, Mikey Garcia. The Ocampo fight, we'll throw that away. Uh, Peterson, Cal Brook. Um, and those are the names he's fought. You know, he won his title against Brooke, and then since then he's fought Peterson, throw a combo away, Mikey, Porter, Garcia, Danny Garcia, Ugas. And remember, he was scheduled to fight Pacquiao. So he does fight the best names out there, so there's no, there's no problems there. But there's just – it's two fights in the last three years for Errol Spence, and I don't think this fight's getting made. So I, I don't know when we're going to see Spence back in the ring. I don't want. I don't know when we're going to see Crawford back in the ring, and I don't definitely don't know when we're going to see him back in the ring together. This is unfortunate news. I, I don't blame Crawford necessarily. I don't think this is necessarily a duck job or, or anything like that. It's, I think it's a legitimate concern, especially considering all the kind of weird kind of Pegasi numbers that have been going around with uh, with, with the pay-per-view numbers with, with, with Tank Davis fights, with Les Canelo fight. He wants to see transparency. And apparently, like, the only reason why you wouldn't show the party, the books, right, you wouldn't show them the expenses, is because you want to hide something. There's no other reason to do it, right? It, 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 it's like if someone says, let me see your report. If you don't want to show your boss your report, it's because something in there is not good, right? If it was good, you show it to them. So, yeah, they want to cover their tracks somehow, and Crawford's not going for it. I don't think you can blame him for that. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Texas Boxing Scene, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and share. All proceeds from this channel do go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, it is September 30th, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.